Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Now, this morning was a little on the cooler side, being that we had the influence of high pressure in the area that allowed the skies to remain mainly clear. That also brought some very calm winds through the overnight, which allows for more ideal radiational cooling, allowing temperatures to fall a little closer to the dew points and with some relatively drier air in place. That had temperatures that were in the upper 30s even earlier this morning. Further towards the north, Hayward actually bottomed out in the low to mid 30s, only a couple degrees above the freezing point. We saw that in our lower elevations as well. Meanwhile, here in Eau Claire, we did fall to 43 degrees earlier this morning. But we are expecting a bit of a warming trend. Now, of course, this morning, we warmed up very quickly with that abundance of sunshine. And that'll be the case through the afternoon as we stay pretty seasonable for the most part today with a light wind. Now, later tonight into tomorrow, this is where changes start to come into play. We'll have some clouds rolling in later this evening, and that brings a few chances at some showers, possibly a few storms for tomorrow, and then starts that real summer-like heat and humidity heading our way on Wednesday as our highs make a return to the mid-80s. And yes, dew points likely getting back into at least the lower 60s. Otherwise, for this afternoon, staying mostly in the upper 60s, low 70s, a little further towards the north, likely that you'll stay in the upper 60s. But those winds out of the north going to be very light for today. Only anywhere from about 3 to 8 miles per hour is what we can expect. Now, being that today is pretty seasonable, that continues on with this trend that we've seen for oh, almost a week by now. But Tuesday, of course, of last week, that's where we had a temperature that was in the upper 80s. We had plenty of humidity to go with that. That's a little bit more of what we're expecting by the middle of this week. But looking at the last two weeks as a whole, for the most part, we have stayed pretty seasonable, only by a matter of a couple degrees, only deviating anywhere from about uh, 3 to 5 degrees most days. Now, going into this afternoon, we'll have that abundance of sunshine and light wind, but this is where that cloud cover starts to work in by tomorrow morning, likely staying dry until mid to late morning for tomorrow before a few of those showers move in. Now, we could have a few breaks in the clouds, giving us a little bit of sunshine from time to time, but those chances for showers and a few storms lasting us through the late evening before wrapping up and giving way to a mainly clear sky to kick us off on Wednesday morning. May have a couple clouds move through from time to time, but Wednesday likely staying dry for the most part. And with those winds out of the south, that is going to bring in that heat and humidity. Mid-70s on tap for today before falling back to the upper 40s later on tonight with some of that cloud cover moving in. Now, if you are heading out to enjoy some of that sunshine, make sure to wear those sunglasses and throw on that sunscreen because our UV index is 8 for today and that can lead to sunburn within 15 minutes. Otherwise, warming up back to the mid-80s in the Cooley region by Wednesday with a few more chances at some showers and storms that will be heading our way this weekend. Overnight lows in the upper 50s and even low to mid-60s. Now for a Sunshine Award, John and Judy Parr would like to nominate Gwen, Lily, Ellie, and Josh Sweeney. Keeps it short and sweet and says they are helpful and very special people. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.